Hello, my beautiful people. How y'all doing? I know I've been MIA. Y'all. <laughs> I mean, doing these videos is easy, but it's not as easy when you don't have no content in mind. And I'll be thinking to do a podcast. I really don't even know how podcasts work for real. But everybody doing podcasts, so... I want to try it. I don't know. It's like I don't be having nothing to talk about when I'm by myself. It's like... How you start a conversation by yourself? I don't know. Y'all, I don't know. I'm in that little, that little zone where I'm like, what do I put out for content? I know people want to see certain eat, eating videos and stuff like that. But, um, I don't know. I mean, I do, I still have, um, the Nick Bones and, um, I'm gonna do the Black Eyed Peas on New Year's or New Year's Eve or something like that. So, it is some eating videos I do have to do, you know, that subscribers asked for. And I said I was going to give what a subscriber asked for. Not too many people dropping suggestions anymore. And that's what kind of got me in a dilemma because I'm lost on content. I don't even know what to talk about no more, like. My mind in being so here, there, and every motherfucking where. I don't even know where to start to even try to talk about some shit. For real. Only thing I've been doing lately is listening to music. I'm trying to keep my mind clear. And it works. And of course, I always gotta have my drum. Because that works too. Which is my meds. <laughs> yes, this is my meds. I don't see how certain people say they stop smoking. I guess because they probably were just smoking just to do it. I don't know why people smoke, but for me, it's really medication for me. It really works. It really, really works. Like, when I don't have it, my mind be so cluttered, and it be on some of the shit that I don't want it to be on. Just, like, all over the place type shit. But the fact that I ain't put a video out, that's what's making me do this video, and I don't even know what to talk about. Yeah, itching. Yeah, I got this little, um, Shaka Khan thing going on. I don't know why the front of my hair don't get curly. I guess because I always flat iron it when I have straight hair in my head. Like, my hair is naturally curly. As you can see from my roots, it's naturally curly. But this part right here don't want to work with me. It don't want to work with me. Just got that one little straight piece of hair going on. Like what? Maybe if I push it in there somewhere. And hide it. I won't notice it to talk about it again. But anyway. How y'all like my new little look? I got this wig from T um, Timu, right? And it was a full head lace wig. Full lace. Well, I put that damn wig on before putting it on. You know how you try your wig on. It was too big. Too Shaka khan -ish. And I was like, no, it's not meant for me. I don't know. Some people do it. Some plus size females. But from already being big, I don't like all that big ass hair. And this is my first time actually trying something like this. And I fuck with it though. I like it. You know, tweaking it. Make it work. So what I did to the wig was... I cut the whole front, the whole lace. I cut the whole lace off. I took the little, you know, the little um, snap-on combs. So I had snap-on combs from some clippings. So I took those off of there, sewed it on here, and made it like a half a wig, and just used the front of my hair and blend it in. And it worked. I think the wig was only like less than $20. So, I really ain't losing nothing. You feel me? But I would have been losing if I was just tossing in the trash. And the way I was feeling, the way it looked, I was like, no, what can I do to this? I'm surprised it came out looking this good. Only little thing, it low key looked dry. I put water. I have um, mousse, but that mousse is so sticky. 
it's no, I don't want to put that. I don't want to put that. Maybe I should add some grease, but it's synthetic, so it's not going to really grease up the way I want it to. But I don't know. I'll try and see if it gives us some shine. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling it. And then it's like cold weather too, so I can fuck with it. If it was hot, I, I can't have no hair on my ear, my neck, none of that. And I really don't like hair in my face, but it looked a cool back. But all that forehead going on, I want to bring, yeah, two little drops to the front. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? But yeah, y'all, um, I'm just going along the way as I'm on here because I don't know what to talk about. But one thing that I really didn't get open about when uh, when I was last time I was live, the girls mentioned um, they wanted to talk about dating a BBW. I uh, know how they say it. Uh, they said, <clears throat> "Shit, basically, um, BBW looking for love or trying to find love or where the where's the right man for the BBWs." I'm actually a SS BBW. Super size, big, black, beautiful. Um, I said a whole lot. There is not that many bees. Super size. Wait, <laughs> super size, black, beautiful woman. Yes, <laughs> that's me. So, okay. All my life, I've been big. I went from fucking being chubby to chunky to fat. To, um, what? BBW. I hate that obese word, but it is what it is. Always being there all my goddamn life. Always being bigger than uh, what I'm supposed to be. Um, to BBW to SSBBW. I don't know what the fuck Ruben Ness uh, mean, but I ain't heard that from the guys that like the big girls. You feel me? I don't know what the fuck a Ruben Ness is. I ain't going for that one. But, um... I stick to that SSBBW. So, all my life, I've been dating. And dating and the opposite sex for me, because I'm a heterosexual woman, the opposite sex for me in interaction with the opposite sex, it's cool to be friends, but once I'm friends, I want more. You feel me? I want to move to something else. Like, let me love you. <laughs> you feel me? Let me love you. Let me show you what it's like to be loved. And that's a downfall for me. Because I believe everybody needs to know the real way of being loved. And how somebody really care for you. And not being judgmental to the fact of anything that person have going on in their life. Um, and not being a gold digger just worried about... What type of money he um the um the guy bringing in or whatever? Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> Not worry about his money, cause you know everybody. Oh, you gotta get a bag. You gotta you gotta have this. You gotta. Have. First off, let's not get it wrong. You do have to have something going on in order to be surviving and to, and living and taking care of yourself. You feel me? I don't look for nobody to take care of me. I don't beg for anything. I figure it out on my own. When you with me, you literally going to have to just do something for me before me asking you for anything. And I don't really look at that. I don't really look at that at the time. You feel me? It take me to get mad to start really thinking about some shit. Trying to move on type shit. And be really thinking like, damn, motherfucker ain't never did shit for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, we've been talking this long. And da da da, whatever. You feel me? But I don't really base that off a relationship. I base a relationship on how you treat me. How you respect me. How you talk to me. That's what I base my relationship on. And I base that on any relation with any human. Treat me how I would treat you. And I'm not out here treating people good to get that in return. No. That means I'm faking it because I want something. 
No, nah, that's genuinely who the fuck I am. I'm just genuinely a good, kind, nice, and what I consider and shit seem like a lot of others consider it too, real. I consider myself a real motherfucking person. I can't be nobody else but me. You feel me? So when I try to establish a relationship, that's the boundaries right there. The boundaries is be respectful. Treat me as a woman because I'm going to treat you as a man that you are. You don't go by anything other. You feel me? And you're a human. And I love everybody. I love everybody. But being in love is a whole nother thing. If you're not treating me right, it ain't no in love. But I be feeling like some people would just be having so much potential for me. Because there just be certain things that I really like about them. But they always got to have something to fuck up what I like. Like, damn. You got guys up here. You probably won't think it's true, but it is. Men be hurt from a situation. And they really don't call they hurt because they don't know they was hurt. Or just too manly to accept that feeling mean hurt <laughs> you feel me to accept that feeling mean hurt if you sitting up there talking about a past relationship to a current relationship or just a current person you're still hurt about that situation because why are you still talking about it that's your past let it go that's how i feel whether good or bad i don't want to hear shit about your past with nobody we working on our future <laughs> we working on our future let's talk about that um I don't talk about no exes to no nobody I'm talking to. I just don't. Like, that's weird to me. Why would you even want to know anything about somebody I was with previously before you? You might say some shit that, or I might say some shit that'll make you mad or maybe get you a little jealous. Or, you feel me? How you feeling some type of way? Vice versa. Shit, you might tell me some shit and it's going to make me look a certain way at it. Like, like one time... <sighs> A guy telling me all this, what like, oh, I was getting all this money and I was, you know, throwing it to my girl and I was doing this and I'm doing that. And I'm looking like, but I'm sitting up here dealing with your broke ass. And you ain't down here trying to go get shit to throw at me. You feel me? But I ain't even on that though. But shit, you want to take it there? Oh, that's what you do for bitches? <laughs> then we start acting like a bitch then. <laughs> this woman shit ain't working for me. But... Yeah, what I do with my lighter? Oh. Um, I could have just used the candle. A hopeless romantic I am. But guys be on some weird shit for real when they come up to the big girls. They look at us as the experimental doll for them to experiment on and do all this and that, you feel me? You just supposed to roll with it like, okay, you want to do this and you want to do that and, oh, I'm a, no. The fuck? Don't get me wrong. We could do some shit if it's on some real shit. You feel me? Like, you mind, but you ain't even mind. You sitting up here talking about you want to do this and you want to do that. What? Like, a bitch is older. You, you missed that fun girl time. You feel me? I'm in my woman era right now. Fun girl gone. I'm a grown ass woman. I like my man to be sitting up talking about establishing some shit together. You feel me? And don't just talk about establishing some shit together and be looking for me to provide everything that we want to establish. No. Let's make that shit 50 50. Let's make that ours. We both put in the work. You feel me? No. And <laughs> this might feel like... This might seem a little subliminal to somebody. But it ain't even that. You feel me? It just is what it is. Don't go to a woman and expect her to provide. To make your dreams come true. Type shit. 
Because if that woman not looking for I mean, you can find that in some female. They might do it for you. Just like some men do it for a woman. But see, I ain't I ain't her. I'm not her. Shit, I'm 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 not even really providing for my own damn dreams. What are my dreams? I just want the money. You feel me? <laughs> I really just want the money. For real. Because money make the world go round. You can't make shit pop without the money. So yeah, money talks. And that's real. Yeah. Don't come to me looking for me to take care of every fucking thing just because you provide a little information of how to do this shit or something like that. Okay. You could do that and I could, you know, help out, you know, do some uh, research or look at some shit and figure some shit out and do this and do that. But what are you doing besides giving information and shit? You feel me? Like, no. Oh, I hope I just didn't piss somebody off. <laughs> but no, that's real talk shit. I ain't been in that situation one time. I ain't been in that situation a couple of times. Motherfuckers be wanting to do shit. And it might seem like, oh, you know, big, fat, lazy. Because when that nigga mad, first thing he'll say is fat. Big, fat, lazy ass bitch don't want to do this, don't want to do that. No, it ain't the fact I don't want to do that. If we could go in on it, and then we could have made some shit happen. But you looking at me? To do it all is out. No. The fuck? Mm -mm. I got shit to take care of. Like, you got shit to take care of. I can't put all this energy into something and you putting a little bit of energy while you putting energy in other places as well. Like, what? Ooh, this weed got me talking. What weed is this again? I got about like three damn different kinds of weed, y'all. <laughs> this got them um, ordering online and trying to be cheap at the same time. I got bubble gum. I had that earlier. Right now, I'm smoking um, chocolate gelato. And this, what was this? This was wedding cake. This was all right. I already got this before. It is what it is, too. Um, these chocolate gelato shit. I know gelato good, so I guess it is some of this this bubble gum. It was cool. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but it did what it do. You feel me? Um, shit, I be getting fucking discounts when we, hmm. I, I I'm always trying to figure some shit out. I don't scam shit, but I do bend the little rules to make something pop the way I want it to pop. Type shit. So I might call it a scammer when I think about it, but it don't be scamming for real, for real. But yeah, like I be getting my little discounts. Sure do. Um, uh, what else about men and plus size women? Ooh, and a lot, a lot of uh, men that like plus size women, women, they feel like. She big. She like to eat a lot. She always got food. Oh, we go eat. You providing the food? Like, I don't mind feeding the motherfucking rest out of pocket or um, preparing the meal or whatever. I don't. As long as vice versa. <laughs> like, I'm hurt. I will put in. Y'all, I didn't put these lashes on with some different kind of glue than I normally put them on. And my lashes looking like the girls online. Like, for real. It keep trolling up. I hate that look on people. And they keep doing it to me. But anyway, it is what it is. Um. What happened? What was I saying? Um. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think every time you come around me, we eating. Like, I don't want to motherfucking eat. Let's do some other shit. The fuck? Stop asking me what you cooking. What you... You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Ask that on the holiday, and if you cool enough, I invite you. Other than that, leave me the fuck alone about cooking. What you cooking? Damn. At this point. What else? Basically, all we are is motherfucking chefs and porn stars. 
to a nigga. Like, well, anyway, I ain't gonna say we. I'm gonna say me. That's what I feel like. Yes, I'm a freak. You feel me? Like, I ain't trying to be a freak. But, um, <laughs> nah, I ain't even out there like that. But if you mind, you mind. You gonna get it when you, mm -hmm. you feel me? We growing up in this motherfucker. Um, but yeah, it's like, yeah. You'll be talking to somebody and they'll be sounding all cool and shit. And then next, you, next thing you know, they start talking about sex. And just throw you the fuck off. Like, damn. Um, something else? And then this new day, day, this new age shit with the cameras and the FaceTime. I don't like go face on nobody. They just be smiling, over complimenting, and they don't be. Um, <laughs> I don't talk to fucking um, foreigners. No disrespect, but it's certain type of foreigners, and the women know who they are. Yeah, it don't be none of them. It be locals. You feel me? It be. It be some would you know what they write mine. And they still they act <laughs> it's disrespectful how I'm explaining this. I be trying not to be disrespectful. I don't be trying to rub across you know, somebody mind the wrong way and you know, take it as disrespect. No, it is what it is, and that's the best way I can explain myself. But the niggas be acting like foreigners. <laughs> in my head. In my head of what I'm thinking and what I know and what I experience, that's what they act like. When you FaceTime, just smiling and who your lips this and just just start going from there. Like they think you sitting up there smiling because you trying to look cute, bitch. I'm smiling. Like I'm trying not to be disrespectful and say some shit, nor just hang up. I'm kind of looking for the right moment for you to say something to fuck up for me to end this whole call. You feel me? <laughs> like. <laughs> Because they don't be, like, disrespectful with it. It just be, like, shit you don't want to hear. You not on that. You feel me? Like, damn. I was talking about a cartoon. You start talking about um, what size bra I wear. Like, bitch, what? You gonna buy me some bras? Like, <laughs> I don't even like bras for real. But you gonna buy me some? Shit, I do need some. I ain't turned out nothing. I need everything. Um... <laughs> I like when I could be somebody's friend. Being somebody's friend brings so much to it. it like being a person friend make me fall in love type shit for real. Cause seeing how we are friends, how we able to talk, communicate. You feel me? We are having a one on one. Like grown folks, chilling, vibing, laughing. You know, somebody with a sense of humor because I love to joke. Like, you can't take everything I say wrong just maybe because how I say it. Like, if you know me, you know I ain't serious. You know it's a fucking joke. And that's all I be on. And then, because it's like when you friends... Your friend do them, and you do you, right? Like, with your homegirl, you kicking them with your home. I mean, not even kicking them with your homegirl, but your homegirl. Your homegirl do what she do, and you do what you do. But when y'all chilling, y'all on y'all friendship shit, right? So that's how I feel it should be with me. He shouldn't be worried about nothing I got going on. I shouldn't be worried about nothing he got going on. We friends. You feel me? Now, once we bring that shit to a common denominator and say that we are in a relationship, I'm still cool with the same shit that we was cool with when we was friends. That would make me want to succeed in the relationship. You feel me? <laughs> Being friends make you either maintain that friendship, go further than that friendship, or end that friendship. Or situation ship or whatever. Yeah. A lot of men just be wanna rush into it. They wanna have sex and all type of shit. And then you could really fuck that up just by having sex with somebody. You might not even like that shit. If you actually communicated and got to know you know, get to know each other, it made it more 
something made it more like sex appeal. It just does something even more to it to make that shit feel right. And I'm a I'm a sensual sexual person. You feel me? So I lo I love to have the emotions with what I got going on. Because the emotions make it so it. <laughs> it make it so it. Period. But you, my my biggest um peppy is how should I say it? My biggest pet peeve is, um, I know what I want to say, but I can't get it out, y'all. Like, basically having hope in, in a motherfucker. Like, you see the potential. Well, I will see the potential in a person. And it make me thrive off of it. But... <laughs> They don't never come all the way up to that. Because a lot of guys I mess with have anger issues. And I, I think I'm so chill that I could really deal with it. And I can. But not in a relationship, I can't. Because... You sitting up here yelling at me about some dumb shit. Are you doing me some dumb shit? And I'm just trying to give you some advice. Motherfucker, I'm trying to give you some advice on the dumb shit I know you just did. And you know you just did. And you ain't listening to me. And I know I'm giving some good ass advice. Just, ugh. You feel me? Or assuming that I feel some type of way. And you filling in the blanks of what I'm not saying because you feel like that's what I want to say. Or you feel like that's how I feel or how I'm thinking or whatever the fuck. And you just filling them blanks and run with it. No. Like. Y'all. <laughs> it ain't easy out here for a pimp. I'm trying to tell you. That was my problem, too. I thought I was really, like, pimping shit in my days. I really felt like I was pimping shit on my, on my mama. I felt like I was pimping shit. Like, we talking about confidence? Oh, I got confidence. Because at one point, <laughs> at one point, I don't care. I, I was doing shit. Oh, that, I ain't going to call that shit the right way. I was grimy with it low-key. Like, to me, it was like, whatever. But, yeah, bitch, I ain't about that life. I'm 40 years old. Like, I settled down before I been there, done that. <clears throat> I was hot in the ass before. I was low-key hot in the ass during. I was super hot in the ass after. And I know what I want. In my life, of how I live, I ain't pretty much did it. Why well, I want to do it again? You feel me? I ain't did it. So now I'm on something else. Like, and I, uh, I don't even want to say what I don't want to say. But I, I had high, so much hopes, high hopes. It's a something but I kept overlooking the red flags and I don't even believe in that red flag shit but I get it and I was overlooking the red flags like I'm nice but I ain't motherfucking stupid though and a lot of men get that confused misconstrued by thinking me being so fucking nice that I'm stupid, I'm gullible, you feel me? And that don't be the case. And I don't be on no typical ass. I ain't gonna say it like that either because that's gonna sound ignorant. But I don't be on no super toxic ass shit, you feel me? 
or we up here screaming, yelling, and hollering, getting people attention and shit, or me boosting your fucking ego because I'm blowing up your phone, cussing you out. I don't do none of that. Never have, never will. I don't do none of that. Uh, you might get a couple of, you know, in the in the in the beginning of some bullshit. You might get a couple of texts of me on some dumb shit, but for the most part, I ain't gonna lie. I've been a simp probably once. How many times have I been a simp though? <laughs> well, it was real. <laughs> Not just on some simp shit to get my way, but it was real. I'll probably say one. Literally. It was one. I don't know what it is. Hmm. I thought I was in love with Leos and Virgos. I mean... <laughs> motherfucking Virgo. I thought I was in love with Libras and Leos. Which I am. I really I really generally fuck with um Libras and Leos. They real as fuck. But the Virgos fucking drive you crazy. I don't normally do Zodiac shit but it makes sense. You feel me? From the experiences that I had, it makes sense. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm in up here <laughs> jibber-jabbering all over the place. But I, I didn't did this for about 31 minutes. So, I hope y'all didn't um, at least comment in between the conversation. Um, I hope you got a little laughter. I hope you was rocking with me like, mm-hmm. Shit, I hope it was one point like, girl, no, mm-mm, hell no. What the fuck you talking about? You feel me? <laughs> However it go, drop them comments ready. You wouldn't if you weren't dropping comments before, but you was thinking some shit, go ahead and drop that shit. Like, let me know what you was thinking. What you thought about this video. Don't don't forget to like. And if you're a new subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. We chill as fuck over here as you can see. Um Yeah, I don't think I got nothing else to say. It's 1.48 AM. I ain't nowhere sleepy. And now the two days I didn't got, I went to sleep at what? Four, about five. I woke up six, seven, eight. Nine. I think I woke up around nine. I got about three, four hours of sleep. And I ain't even tired. I'm not tired, but it's showing my eye because my eye is, like, really going that way. And I know when I'm going to get my rest, that motherfucker really be going while I can't control it. You feel me? Like, I have to really focus and force this bitch to come over here and connect with the audience. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> but if I was well rested... And then I know how to control that shit without you really even noticing, for real. And everybody be like, not everybody, but it's a couple of motherfuckers, and they know who they are. It's all cool. Motherfuckers is haters. I know my angles, you feel me? So, I get that angle. I'm low-key two-faced, for real. And that's because of this eye. Like, I got my model, and I got my bad bitch. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck y'all thought I was going to say. But I got my angles. When I want to be on that bad bitch, that's I get the side of the face. You feel me? That right there. I mean, like, a little gangster. I'll fuck a nigga up. Fuck you talking about. You know, over here got me looking like... You know, that just sex appeal, little chick. You feel me? Like... How is that? <laughs> I'm ignorant as fuck. Till next time. Peace. Love. And don't forget the what? Don't forget the smile, baby.